my first impression was delight to be able to visit again and talk with respected experts in Japan and to learn more about the work of Goi Peace Award. This is because of my interest in Japanese work in peace building over recent decades. Given the terrible suffering of civilians in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. And thirdly, I'm very honored to be counted among such previous laureates as Satish Kumar, Hafsat Abiola, Lynn Twist, Deepak Chopra, Bill Drayton, Oscar Arias, and Irvin Laszlo, and many more. My expectation in attending the Goy Peace Foundation Forum, Changing the World from Within, uh, in uh, my message would be, first, I really like the title you have given to the event, Changing the World from Within, as I am entirely uh, concentrating on this kind of current work in the business plan for peace. And I love exploring our online course and explaining it, our online course entitled The Mighty Heart. So my message to the audience will convey my sense that our job is very urgent at this moment and very much needed. Why? Because the world is changing so fast, not least because of artificial intelligence, that I feel, in fact, I know that the way that artificial intelligence can be balanced is through heart intelligence, HI. And that is what uh, is needed so much, heart intelligence in the world today. So while this time that we're living through may be a revolution for humanity that some people fear could destroy human civilization, there may be another quite different picture of the future. And it belongs to the human heart. While the brain fears the misinformation revolution and the chaos it can cause in our minds, and how shaky we feel when we cannot believe, the heart has a different view and a different set of reactions. At a physical level, when the heart, sorry, at, at a physical level, when the heart is our reference, we can listen to its signals. And here's a tiny example. When I exaggerate or say something that is not altogether truthful, my heart will twist or twist or churn. There'll be a frisson. If I'm telling the truth, my heart will be calm. So at a political level, these examples are much, much bigger. Because they said to Mahatma Gandhi, you cannot beat the might of the British Empire. You cannot beat it with passive resistance. Yes, said his heart, we can. And they did. They said to Nelson Mandela, you cannot beat apartheid from inside a prison. Yes, said his heart, we can. And they did. They say to us now, artificial intelligence is terrifying. Human culture will be destroyed. Maybe, say our hearts, but we shall survive and we shall thrive. So those who can inspect their own minds and their thoughts, who can become quiet and thus access the power of their hearts, can develop wisdom that is beyond the capacity of the brain. Mm -hmm.